We call it a hybrid reef because it's combining these artificial cement-based designs that we think use biologically friendly materials and, and a minimal amount of them to create a structure that's strong enough to withstand waves but also friendly enough for corals to actually build on them and at the same time reduce the growth of seaweeds and other coral competitors that might ordinarily grow over these structures. So, The DARPA project, which is a Department of Defense project, is, is quite um, specific in its goals. It's interested in coastline protection and building coastal resilience, and it's interested in doing it for military installations, in this case, probably the Naval Air Station Key West. But the technology that we develop as part of that project has widespread applications, not just for Florida, but for the whole of the Caribbean, basically. So the hope is, my hope is, that the research and development that we're funded to do through the Defense Department to be, for this very specific goal could be expanded into civilian areas and places where people live, places where I live, um, that could actually benefit from this. And, and it's really trying to develop the next generation of reefs um, that will consist of not just reefs that reduce wave energy, but reefs that are more resilient to climate change. And that's where I'm interested as a biologist because I've spent probably two decades of my life trying to uh, figure out ways to make corals more thermally tolerant. So here's a great application of it. In practice, it's tough. It's tough for the natural processes to work quickly enough given the rates of change that they're being exposed to in terms of temperature and everything else that we're throwing at the reefs. Become more common on reefs over time, but if they are doing it, they're not doing it quickly enough to sort of, quote, save reefs. And, and we may lose a lot more corals before that happens. So the idea is, can we boost the abundance of these heat tolerance environments through these kinds of interventions.